Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to your reading for mm, the last week of October. We're going between Thursday and Friday. We are going Halloween and Day of the Dead. November 1st is Friday. So yeah, intense week. I mean, I think so. Maybe not intense week, but I mean, it's it's for me, it's that time of the year where you, I don't know, things are happening. For me, that's a real switch of season. For where I live, it's, it's, Halloween is like the last beautiful day of like fall. And then November, for us here, it's really starts getting cold, really got to get ready for our winter stuff. And then, you know, it's, after that comes, you know, the holidays and the long winter. So, um, yeah, we're here again. We're here again. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not going to just sit in hibernation this year, I've decided. This year I want to get more done. I want to get more done, okay? I don't want it to be just a, a year of just sitting around. So, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to get this reading done. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see what we got for this year. So, I'm using Dancing in the Dark Tarot, and I'm also going to use the, the Phantom Wise. Um, please check out my other channel, Connected to the Deck Tarot. I'm going to be doing another video on my autumn decks, but now we're going into the October-November decks. So they are a little darker in nature. In other words, they've got a little more dark in the background, such as this, and they're more of that, you know, um, Halloween vibe. So just showing you my stuff, and it's super fun, and go check it out. All right. Let's see what we have for this week. What do we have for energy for my beautiful Pisces for this week? Juggling. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I, I noticed that this week. It's, it's like the fool who's juggling. <laughs> the fool is juggling. What an interesting, what an interesting, so having said that, let's check the radiant wise. I know it sounds strange, but it's, it's kind of a plasticky, I don't know, I don't know what it is, this deck, but. Okay, so you got the Queen of Swords, but I also saw the High Priestess wanting to come out. And the Four of Cups, which makes kind of a sense. I mean, if you really, let's let's take them all out. Why not? Why not? Let's take a look at this. Okay, my beautiful Pisces, this is your energy for the week. We're going to be juggling things. We're going to be adapting to things. We're going to use our mind, our intuition, but also our sense of maybe feeling a little bit blocked and stuck by this energy. The reason being is that we have choices to make. Just like I came in saying, I want to do things, um, you know, I, I want to kick this like period of hibernation into gear doing something. Because obviously, as a human being, I'm not hibernating, but what to do, right? So my intuition is telling me, and I'm telling you my way of thinking about it, okay? So that you can see where this energy is going. My intuition is telling me that I want to stick to things that bring me joy and happiness. That bring in clearing, like in other words, clearing the house and, and just uh, revamping a few things, giving it a refresh, working inside because outside is less of a, a friendly environment in winter. But also, um, I am thinking hard on these things but I want a game plan, which I don't have. So this is where this part comes, and this part comes here. It's basically sitting here and thinking things through. So it's saying, what do I want for the next phase, the next month, the next three months? What, what do I want to bring into my life? And I think that's what you're really thinking about. That's the energy you're working with. What do I want to do? What's going to be meaningful to me? What do I juggle here? How do I get from point, you know, A to whatever? <laughs> and um, that can be great, but it can also be crippling because you're like sitting there just kind of giving it back and forth like this, you know? It's like, okay, I'm at this point. What, what do I do with this? Twos are known and you have twice. It comes out twice here. 
Twos are known for a little bit of procrastination, okay? Not to be mean, but you are. Um, because two is like, I'm planning, I'm juggling, uh, I'm balancing, I'm trying to unblock, um, I'm harmonizing. It can create a great sense of harmony when it comes to love in your heart. You know, you're harmonizing with somebody else. But there's always like that, that thing that comes in to kind of, you know, back and forth, back and forth. And... I think that duality of energy that comes in is where great decisions can be made if they are made. Okay, so I would say utilize the Queen of Swords because she's made decisions before. Okay, she's very wise and um, she's very intelligent. She's very, uh, 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 she's a clear communicator. At, Just don't let this kind of turn into a, a, a page of swords. That's what I would say, okay? Because with the Four of Cups, I feel like this is what you're sitting there going, no, I don't want that. It's like I would say, well, I really want to clear the space, but I don't want to feel like a hostage to that space having to clear it. How can I bring joy into the situation? Can I do it a little bit every day? But give myself a time span to complete it. But that feels a little bit, you know, that feels a little bit like no fun. But, you know, it's trying to infuse the fun. The, um, the also the accomplished part of it. And, and also the the part that it just needs to be done. It's kind of like infusing all those things together to make it something that you want to do, okay? Even if it has to do with work, you know, you want to revamp work or something, make it feel better, make it, I don't know, more your jam, as they say. Um, this could be all part of that. Relationships too, you want to, you know, zhuzh it up a little bit. Um, you want to, you know, do something different, you know, take your partner and, and, you know, go dancing, go walking instead of just watching TV with each other, you know, you want to see them in a different space, you know, you want to dress them up, but you don't know what they'll like. So it's, it's like the ideas come in and you're juggling around with them. That's what I feel. I feel like the ideas are plentiful. But to get it to go, to to start, to start it in any direction, that's the part that's a little bit hard sometimes. Sometimes you have to play a game of let's just start, okay? And that's what's coming in, and for me that's been going on for a while now, and I think it works good. Just begin. Just begin something. Just begin it, okay? If it's a big job, if it's a big change if it's something that you know you're going to have to work out don't worry so much about the end goal I, you know we worry so much about how to get from a to z that we never ever begin with the a okay um all right hermit is the other right so this is what I'm feeling. I feel that the block is the hermit. The hermit's greatest asset is insight. The hermit's biggest problem is getting confused, getting stuck in the weeds, okay? Because it's the moon that comes in. It's the confusion that comes with the thoughts. It's like you have the thought of going, wouldn't it be great if I took this, unpacked it, and then put it back together? But somewhere in the unpacking in the hermit, sometimes people get lost. And that's where, instead of letting intuition help guide you to the next step, you get stuck in the weeds. You get confused. And it's a little bit, that's, that's the part that gets hard. Okay? So transformation, there's a lot of cards that come out. That's the problem with this deck. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's transformation is like right around the corner. It's kind of just sitting there waiting. Great, great. Yeah, the hangman. See, this is what I mean. This is their, This is the feeling that I get. It's like being stuck between perception and confusion. 
This is going to be your task for this week, my beautiful Pisces, is not to get stuck between insight and limbo. Okay? Honestly, this is what I feel. I have been up for two hours, and I have been procrastinating for two hours. Where to begin? Do I begin here? Do I go finish painting my fence? Do I put up some lights that I bought? Do I... This is blah, 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 blah. Okay? Too many thoughts, zero actions. Too many thoughts, zero actions equals zero actions. Honestly, that is the truth. You just end up being hung upside down, hours go by, and you're just kind of, eh, didn't do, I just scrolled on my phone. Scrolled, 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 scrolled. Sometimes I wish I didn't have that distraction. Honestly, I remember when I was young, there was no choice. It was, you know, get up and start doing something. Um, I kind of sort of miss those days. I appreciate having uh, a smartphone, but sometimes it would be nice if it disappeared for a while to remind me that I have plenty of things to do <laughs> without it, right? So, is this the week of procrastination? Is this it? You've been working so hard, maybe you just need a break, okay? But hey, taking a break requires for you to make plans to go somewhere to take a break, right? You plan out a walk, you plan out a, a, a short vacation, uh, you, you make plans on to where to relax, right? So you need to do it. You can't just sit around and scroll on your phone. That's not a break. That's not a break. That's just distraction. Okay? So, okay. Be very careful about the hangman. Okay? Careful about the hangman. The hangman used properly is fantastic. Okay? He's fantastic. Because the hangman is the 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 shadow card that helps the three, okay, the empress, uh, the one who hangs upside down, gets perspective, and creates brand new things. But you need to put action to those things. You always need to put action to those things. Because like everything else, both the creative processes of the mind, it's like writing things down, planning things out, and the hermit is also about going internally, doing some introspecting, and getting, you know, an, a perspective, self-reflection. But all of these can get caught up in non-action scenarios. And you don't want to be doing that. I mean, you can for a while. You just, it's not going to get you anywhere really fast. And you are trying to move into some kind of energy, okay? You're trying to move into into movement. I don't know what else to say here. Okay, so let's see. All right. Okay, so what are the solutions? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking all I thought was gather resources because you got the queen here who's all the, the queen of resources, okay? She's also a feminine energy. Yes, she is. Uh, just like a lot of receiving. Let's see what else comes out here. Gather your resources. That's something you can do, right? Okay, so I want to change the lights on my fence. What do I need? I need a screwdriver. I need a template. Um, I need a time frame to go. So after these readings that I have planned out to do for you today, I'm going to go outside and do that. Yes, that's that's... You know, in that time frame. So in an hour or so, maybe, I will go and I'll start doing that. And that'll be that'll be that, right? Yeah, work. Work, teamwork, and work. Okay. Yeah, this is also teamwork. Is also a plan, having a plan, right? Something is coming together. A project is beginning to manifest. So have a clear, clear plan. And, and take pride in your work. Be happy with the work that you're doing. Gather your resources. You know, my greatest... I, I know, it's simple. I have little solar lights I need to put on the fence that's outside my home. So, um, I had gotten the cheap ones, but some of them don't work, and some of them do work. And I just bought 
a better set of solar lights so that I could have like 10 nice lights hanging on my fence. It also makes the neighbor's like lane look really nice too. So I'm happy. Everybody's happy, right? So I want to change those, make them look like nice. And you know what? Um, I don't even remember where I was going with this now. You see, this is how distracted I feel that we're getting now. It, I feel that it's the distractions are ridiculous. I think the distractions are ridiculous. I really do. I think that the distractions that are happening to us, they're taking us completely out of the game. And we need to stay in the game. We need to complete and do things and try to keep pushing forward as much as we can to get things done. Okay? I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm going to be changing them today. I'm going to complete that today. The other thing that I want to tell you is that sometimes we have too many choices and we're thinking of the 30 other things we need to do. I have I have many tax tax tasks, I can't even speak, that I want to complete before snow flies. And this is a taxing thing in my brain, okay? Write it down. Write down all the things you want to do. Then put them in a slot somewhere. It doesn't much matter if you're not going to get it. Even if I put something tomorrow and it doesn't get done, it's still on my list of things to do, and I know I've got to do them, okay? So hash out a plan. This is this right here, a project starting to manifest, and then start doing it. Do it well. Do it right. Um, learn from your mistakes. I put up those lights. I thought they're great, but they were really cheap. They ended up being not the greatest thing. Yeah, lesson learned, okay? I'm going to be redoing that work, but it's okay. I've learned that lesson. It's something I can impart to other people. Don't buy that stuff. It's not great, okay? And some of them I can reuse for other things. So I just, I'm going to just take my resources, the things that I got to accomplish, to do it, I'm going to make a game plan. In other words, I'm going to slot it out today is going to be the day for that. I'm going to I'm going to make a a schedule for other things that I'd like to do and accomplish in the next month, two months, three months. And then I'm going to start doing it. I'm just going to start doing it one thing at a time. Don't think about the 30 things that you need to accomplish. Pick one and go for it. Okay? Just go. Don't get stuck in the weeds. I It's the stuck in the weeds that gets me. I feel like you're getting stuck in these weeds. Okay. So what else do we need to do here? <laughs> Other than Jane, yeah. Yeah. Negativity. Okay. Um, right away they're bringing in, I have a few friends, myself included, where procrastination is a word that comes up a lot. And then it's procrastination is even worse when somebody starts beating themselves up over it. Okay? What I'm saying is that they start thinking negatively about themselves. Oh, look at me. I'm too lazy to do anything. I do this every time. Negative self talk. Negative self talk all the time. Okay? No. You have to get away from there. Okay? That's why it's in reverse. Get the heck away from that negativity. Whether it's from you or somebody else, move away from it. Okay? Yeah, Justice and the Three of Cups. The first thing that I think with this Justice card is not all seems as it's as, as it's um as it seems. In other words, you hold yourself accountable for the true things, okay? Uh, hold yourself accountable for wasting time in negative self-talk. Uh, hold yourself accountable for getting stuck in the weeds. Um, but then again, hold yourself accountable for making a list. Okay? And saying, good job. You made yourself a list. Good job. You gave yourself a plan. Good job. You got the resources. Good job. Now you are doing this today or you're beginning this today. Okay? And then reconnect with that. There's the other three. There's that reconnection to harmony. That one's even more important because it 
clears up your heart space and it gives you motivation to keep going okay you're not getting stuck in the oh, I, I suck I don't why am I not doing this why am I not moving forward no no you're reconnecting to the very pretty part of you the harmonious happy part okay the one that gets you back together with yourself okay that's got you in uh, you know a, um, this kind of link okay instead of um, disconnecting with yourself, you're reconnecting with the team player in yourself, the team players in your life, the uh, idea of getting something done. It also gives you motivation, challenges, and if you start doing this now, Pisces, I'm going to tell you, if you live like in a, the hemisphere that I do, where winter is long and hard, if you can have plans and set things to do, it might actually help your season go faster. And you might end up at the other side when spring comes up and say, look at everything that I've, I've done, okay? And I want you, I always say this, but I want you to write down the small. I don't care if you just put a screw in the wall yesterday to hang something up, I want you to write that stuff down, okay? I don't care if you just said one kind uh, sentence to somebody, say, hey, you look good today, and they smiled. That's an accomplishment. You did some good in the world today, every day. Some days are harder, and they will be, because especially here we have cold and flu season, and we're not always feeling our optimum best, okay? Some days I walked 15K without a break, steps, okay? And then some days I basically shook my leg up and down because I was so sick. But I did movement in my body and I managed to do something, okay? So please, whatever you're doing, give yourself the full credit, okay? And it's not being delusional. It's being kind to yourself. Something we are not enough of at all. We are most likely, if you are like me, you're the kind of human being who will criticize every little thing you do. And every little thing that doesn't need to be criticized. Okay? Find the good instead. And even if you say, well, today wasn't a great day. I felt like crap and I just shook my leg, but I still got like some steps in. Or I just had a little couch on my app that said, you know, you took the day off. Tomorrow will be a better day. Tomorrow I will pick it back up today. I'm being good and I'm caring for myself because that's important too. I need to be good to myself. My brain needs to be good to myself. My body needs to rest. It's okay. Just don't stay there for the entire winter season. Get back up and do something, okay? So, uh, I don't know. Is it, a, is it a pep session? Is it a pep rally session? Maybe just a little bit. Letting you know what's happening, okay? What's coming up. Okay, so don't get disheartened. That's the other one. You have the beautiful Ace of Cups. I don't like seeing it in a reverse. It isn't, it isn't something that's my favorite. Uh, because I feel that it's not full strength, okay? Learn to you love yourself properly. The Ace of Cups is the one. It's the heart, okay? It's a fresh start. Make every day a fresh start. Make every day a fresh start. Okay, can you give me a card, please? Okay, thank you. Judgment, right. Again, this is you being accountable for the things that you do. Okay, we have just, we had justice and now we have judgment. They're kind of, they're, they're both cards of accountability. You know, I always say that much. They're, but this one is accountable for your personal choices. I love the fact that the judgment card has the heart and the feather. Okay, and they're equal. I love the fact. Um, why is a heart and a feather... I love this, okay? You answer me, you stop this, and you tell me why the heart and the feather are equal. Tell me why the heart and the feather. I'm going to tell you my thoughts, because of course they're my thoughts, right? Maybe I should check in the book to see if they say anything. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I'm going to take a look, see? While you guys write, stop this, and then write something, okay? I need to see what they write here. If they do. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, it's what I thought, but I, I mean, I'll, I'll read it to you, but I'm going to tell you what I thought first was, when your heart is full of love, it's light as a feather. <laughs> oh, come on, you guys already guessed that. You, you have to have guessed that. You already knew that, right? I'm going to look down there and you would have already said it like a million times, right? When your heart is filled with love, which is, you know, it should be, it's light as a feather. And that's the gauge you should use it as. If your heart is weighing down that feather, you're not as happy as you can be. Okay? Yes. Okay. So that's, <laughs> sorry, that sounded, Ugh. okay. Um, it says, uh, a jack, jackal-headed god of the dead observes a set of scales balance upon the key of life gauging the heaviness of hearts against the lightness of feathers there it is a heart that weighs less than a feather represents a life complete and ready for rebirth now is the time for honest appraisal liberate the heart and allow it to be feather light there we go i love that a season a time for a session and epiphanies transformation revival renewal transformation revival renewal okay that's the title for this week, okay? Transformational, transformation, revival, renewal. This is what I want you to do this week, okay? To everything, from sharpening a pencil, to changing an entire room in your house, to revamping an entire uh, relationship, to just doing something different than going and buying an ice cream for your mate. I don't care what it is. I want it to be transformational for you. I want you to bring the joy in into your life. Okay, Winter is a long season. Fall and winter are long seasons. And, you know, it's not always that we talk about it here, but it is. Okay? There's seasons of hibernation, and we feel the melancholy sometimes of it. Instead of melancholy, switch it up. Switch it up. Bring in happiness bring in love, cocooning, bring, if you don't have a mate that you can bring closer, this is okay. Bring a friend that you can bring in closer, okay? Bring the people you love, bring your children in, bring your pets in closer, okay? Shower them with the love in your heart, okay? And work on your life, one tiny little step at a time. And sometimes you'll be doing great big steps. That's okay, but don't expect great big steps all the time. Tiny little steps. Do what you can, okay? All right. Whew. One more card. One more card. One more card. Let me see. Let me see here. Let me see. I think I actually have this deck in reverse. It's okay. Oh, the Ten of Wands. Really? We have to end with the 10. Look at that burden card. Hmm. Give me a clarifier. I need a clarifier. I, I honestly think it's just reducing the heaviness. Okay, Reduce the heavy in your heart. Reduce that heaviness. Don't let it. Do not let those burdens bring you down or weigh you down. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Ah, oh, the lovers. That's what I was saying, okay? Look. If anything in this life is going to help you or bring you some lightness of being, it's the love that you have in your heart. Now, some people may say, I don't have a mate right now, blah, blah, blah. It, has, it doesn't necessarily mean that. The lovers is about a commitment to well-being. Choosing happy, okay? Choosing love, happy, and harmony with the things, the people, the animals, everything around you, okay? And in essence, because if you see this burden card, look at this, look at this guy. Do you see anybody around him? No. He's not getting any help. Because first of all, he's doing it on his own. Why is he doing it on his own? Because he thinks he can. I will shoulder all the burdens in the world on my own. Yeah, no. On your own doesn't really work for much. In the tens, when you look at the cards, the ten of cups surrounded by people, the ten of pentacles surrounded by love and people, okay? Situation that bring abundance, caring, and blessings. Only in the ten of swords and the ten of wands do you see that person, 
all by themselves, shouldering that big, heavy burden of crap. Okay? Don't do it on your own. And I don't want to hear any excuses from anybody going, I don't have anybody. You always have somebody. You're born with plenty of somebodies. You just, they're in a different realm. You have spirit guides. You have spirit teams. You can meditate and feel that energy and presence with you. Some of you have friends. If you're here, you have us. You have me. I will listen to you in the comment section. I will reply to you in the comment section. I will send you a great big hug. You can feel that virtual hugs. That means you're not alone. Okay? So, repeat after me. I'm not alone. Not on this planet. You're never alone. And as long as you have energy of the divine in you, you're absolutely never alone. Even going out in nature, go out and look at the trees and the sun and the universe and, and everything around you that lives, the universe around you, okay? You are not alone. The only thing that tells you you're alone is that little voice inside your brain and that thing needs to shut the hell up, okay? It needs to shut up. So, with that... I'm going to let you go. Keep your head up. Keep smiling. Hey, I, I had a couple, I had a rough couple of weeks. When I feel sad, what do I do? You'll know. I go into my messenger and I send you a hug. I go, I send you a hug. So I, I figure you needed it. Here's a hug. That's what I do. Now you know my secret. It's because I'm having a really terrible day. And instead of passing it on to somebody else, because they say when you're having a terrible day, sometimes you pass it on to somebody else, and then they feel terrible. I pass it on in a very different way. I pass it with a hug and a smile. Okay? Give it a shot. It'll make you feel better. If you make somebody else feel better when you're feeling bad, I don't know, there's a superhero vibe that comes from it. Can't be helped. I'm sending you a lot of love light and blessings. I hope you have a terrific week. We're going to come back on Tuesday and take a look at the energy and where it's going, okay? Uh, then on Wednesday, we're doing the month of November. So come back and watch that because I'm going to be looking at the energies for November. And then, of course, Thursday, there's the Oracle reading. And then we start again on Sunday. So thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to watch my Life Path Number channel as well. Because we all have a number, some of us have a few, if you have a master number as well. And I will see you on Tuesday. Bye guys.